everyone, and welcome back to my heavenly babies, and welcome back to Wear It Wednesday. Today we've got sweet Octavia, and we're going to be doing a changing on her for Wear It Wednesday. I want to put this adorable spring outfit that I got from the Goodwill on her and her little sandals, but she is very content. She's just sleeping away. We already fed her, and she's got her nook, and she's sleeping, so I don't know if I'll end up waking her. I hope I don't. But, um, yeah, she is my beautiful uh, full-body silicone. Um, she'd be like a uh, three-month-old baby. She's almost 11 pounds. She's a big baby. Uh, she is a real uh, silicone, meaning, you know, all my babies are real. But I just mean some of them I got off of eBay and Amazon. This one I got from my friend. This one is, was a very expensive baby. And um, in the beginning, uh, she had a lot of peeling, and I did some work on her, and she just... Um, well, I don't think she did, but a lot of people said that, um, not a lot of people, my brother had mentioned one day she looked kind of red. And so I took it upon myself to strip everything off of her because I should have originally stripped her when I was, um, you know, doing her painting. I did a painting video and, um, this was way back on my keto channel and I did her and she was just beautiful. I'm going to show you a before and after right now up in the screen and then you'll see she was not that red, but I wish I wouldn't have listened. It was just going down that night. It was pink out, kind of a pink sun and my brother said, why she looks so red? It was just the coloration outside. And I wish I went to listen to that because I'm a perfectionist. And I went home and decided to learn how to strip her, stripped her completely and really kind of destroyed a lot of her silicone. I should have never done that on a $3,000 baby. But, you know, I made a mistake. I didn't have any other babies, you know, testing on at that time. I only had her. And so, yeah, I just took it upon myself, hoping nothing would happen. But, you know, we make mistakes. And I'm grateful for uh, Reborn, um, I'm sorry, Blessing Reborn Dolls, uh, Michelle, my good friend. I'm grateful for her. She's done some investigation. And she said that, um, uh, talked to a few silicone artists, that she should be able to fix her up at least 50% better. At least her face around her eye and her forehead where it kind of looks like she's got a scab there. So she's going to try to fix it for me, but she's going to work on some of hers first and um, know that because she is a silicone artist, but she just wants to work on a few of hers first and then um, take her in for a project and try to fix her up for me. But right here, she looks gorgeous. Uh, doesn't look like anything's wrong with her, but she does have some flaws. I did a boo-boo vi video on her. Uh, my heart was just devastated. I even cried in the video because she is just my heart. My joy, I love her so much. She was my very first full body silicone along with my little Abel, my little uh, 25 week gestational baby I showed you guys. Um, I got from my friend Jaden. But yeah, I just, I love her so much and I was just devastated. But I know that God sent good people on my path and I knew that God would send somebody that would be able to fix her. So at least even her, just her face. I don't really care about the body having some flaws because uh, she does wear clothes. But even like this, she, you know, you can't see anything on her. You can't unless you're on top of her. You really can't see anything wrong with her, and I'm just grateful for that. Uh, but before we go on, I do would, would like to read a verse to you guys. I've been trying to stick those in and forgetting, but I like to at least talk about God if I can't get a reading in. So I'm going to do a reading from my powerful prayers for every need. And today we are on um, enemies. This ought to be a good one. You know, everybody's got enemies, but this is what God wants us to do. So it says, I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies, Psalm 18, 3. Now, that is true. God will save you from your enemies. Now, you have to remember, if you are an enemy and you hate somebody and you're against them, the wrath will come down upon you. You may not see it, you know, now. It may be later on in life. It could be, you know, death, eternal death, and, you know, death and destruction and hell. Um, so it's important not to be, you know, mean or rotten to people, be an enemy, uh, talk about people behind their backs, hurt them. It's important. Now, did I used to do that? Absolutely. Do I ever do that? Sure, I might talk about somebody, but I'm not like I used to. I've gotten so close to God. I don't like to talk bad about people, uh, but I'm not perfect. I do, you know, talk to God and ask him to help me to get through that. And it's not like I have tons of enemies, but everybody's got enemies. But I just, you know, try to live the best I can because I do not want to be an enemy to anybody I want to be as nice as I can because the wrath of God is real. It is real, you guys. Dear God, I was reading Psalms 23, a portion of scripture. I've known most of my life when I had an important revel uh, when I had an, an important revelation. I've always prayed that you would get rid of my enemies. Instead, you promised to nourish and bless me in their presence. So what's the saying right here is they're going to bless you in their presence, show you wonderful things happening in your life. As they're being rotten and mean to you, God is going to bless you right in front of them. And we are to pray for them and ask no harm to come upon them, you guys. 
That says, I get it, Lord. Thank you for protecting, providing, and blessing me in spite of my enemies. Amen. Psalms 23, 5. The next one. Father, I'm sure you know that loving my enemies seems like a strange and impossible task. Nevertheless, you would say that we are to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us so that we may be children of our Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for giving me insight. Now help me to do the impossible. Help me to work or help me with the work of exchanging hatred for love. Amen. Matthew 5, 44 through 45. And that's just what I was saying. We are to pray for our enemies and wish no harm upon them. My Lord, I pray today for my enemy, the one who turned on me without warning. Your word tells me that my struggle is not with that person, but with the evil powers that control and motivate him. And it does say him, you guys. So if you're dealing with somebody that is a him, that's what it is for you guys. I, and it can be her too. I pray that you would free my enemy from the hand of the destroyer. Amen. Ephesians 6, 12. And that's a really good one. I'm glad that I got to hear that one because that's what I pray for. You know, um, any, any you know enemies of mine that are against me, I do pray no harm. And that um, God would just get me through it. And it says, like, your word tells me that the struggle is not with that person. It's not with that person, but with the evil powers that control and motivate him. So the devil is motivating that person, you know, definitely telling that person how to feel and act. The devil really comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And we're just supposed to be kind and loving and nice and walk away. Say the simple words, may God bless you, have a good night, and, you know, I'm praying for you. Those are the things that you need to say and be kind and loving and then leave it in God's hands. And that's what I tried to do. Father, curse the enemy of my soul, the evil one who wishes to tear me away from you. A men. Well, that was really great on enemies, you guys. And, you know, we all have them. We all do. And that wasn't on purpose that I read that. Um, you guys, I can show you in the book here. It just came up. You know, God works in mysterious ways. He truly does. And um, not going to get into anything. I don't like to st stir up um, any kind of conflict on my channel. But you guys see that one of the ones I read was Endurance. And the very next one, um, I did um, Eternal Life Everlasting, I believe, because I go in order with my videos when I do them. So this one would have been um, supposed to be for that day because I did a video that was two or three days ahead. So that's how I do it. So this was the one that was in line, was the enemies right there. And that's just amazing, you know, that God, you know, will show you the light. He'll show you that and ensure you that, you know, you are doing your part. Again, what everybody does around me, um, my friends, family, or my husband does around me, does not affect me. I do not give wisdom to my husband or my family and friends what to say or do. I don't do that, and I can't control what they do, and they will be judged by God in their own way. I just try to be as nice as possible, just a simple God bless, take care. That's what I like to do. So, um, And I just hope and pray that God will work the situation out, and he will. God has been blessing me. I mean, come on, my heart's better than ever. Uh, there's good news there. I'm waiting on some news on the other thing. I know that will be good. Uh, everything was good at the doctor's office. In fact, my um, oxygen's 100%, you guys. Like, everything's so good. I'm doing great. Everything sounded great. Um, no clogged arteries, none of that. Um, and I eat a high-fat diet. Yeah, all of that's proving to be good. Again, I'll talk about it on my keto channel. But God is really, truly blessing me. He's blessed me with more babies. I've gotten my avatar and other babies. He just keeps blessing me. He really is. And I'm so thankful. That's why you're supposed to walk right with God. And like I always say, start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. Follow this Bible the way you're supposed to. Don't just read it. Pick out the things you like. Read the whole Bible and understand the whole Bible and live by it, you guys. And ask God every day to forgive you of your sins because we are not sinless. We all live in glass houses, so we shouldn't throw stones. But let's be as kind and loving as we can and pray for our enemies, pray for everybody, and just keep living our life the best that we can. But pick this up, you guys. This is Life's Manual right here, my favorite book. Mwah. Love the Bible. I do. Love my walk with God. Um, it's not perfect. I got things to do, but I feel all the blessings God is doing for me and the wonderful people he's bringing into my life. Well, he can close the door, but he definitely opens others. All right, so let's change this beautiful uh, girl who I love so much, even though she's got some flaws. That's okay. Flawed babies are even prettier. Yes.
You can see her beautiful veining. I did give her the paint job, her beautiful veining. She's a nice light baby. And after she gets fixed, I'll fix up that, then I'll paint over that. But she's just got some problems here and on the forehead. And then just little pieces that kind of nicked out of her when I was stripping her. But she's still gorgeous. And we're gonna put this outfit on you, beautiful Octavia. We're gonna take her lovey away. She's okay, she's sleeping. She's a big girl though. She's 20, 20 inches, 20, yeah, 20 inches long and weighs 11 pounds. She's a big girl. Really, really big girl, yeah. Yes, you are. And you can hear she's just breathing and, and sucking on that nook. Okay, so we're gonna change her. We'll take off her little socks. Hopefully she stays into the video with you guys. Love her feet, her feet curl. They're just so adorable. Again, you're not seeing any flaws unless you were on top of her, you don't see the flaws. And they're not as bad as I made it out to be in the beginning. I was just devastated because she was my only silicone and I didn't want anything bad to happen to her. You know, I didn't want nothing to happen. I would never do anything to hurt, um, you know, even a silicone baby. It's her be beautiful belly button, her beautiful veining there, her little nipples. I did all of her artwork, fixing it up because uh, she had a lot of peeling. So we had to work on that. She wears a size one, so we got a one diaper here to put on her. And we're going to slip this up under so we can keep this girl covered. Keep your pretty girl parts covered, right? And then we're just gonna slide this one out, do that slide trick. Yeah, it always works pretty good. Sometimes it sticks so. Sometimes it sticks. So we got it. There we go, Octavia. And I just wanna let her continue to sleep, so. And it's so amazing how a baby can sleep through even like posing them and <laughs> Uh, changing them. If they got a full tummy, and look at that fat tummy she has. She got a really full tummy. They got a full tummy, they're going to sleep through a lot. And I'm a big talker, so she likes to sleep through that talking. Yeah, she likes when mommy talks. So we got a nice diaper on her. I always fold the diaper down because I like the belly button to show. So there's her diaper. We'll keep this onesie on her. Um, should we have this onesie? Oh, no, no, no. Wait. That outfit, yeah, we don't want that to show. Because that's a short sleeve. That's a sleeve this one. Your diaper came open, little girl. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fold this onesie off of her. I forgot because that outfit is uh, like spaghetti strap almost, or just not spaghetti strap, but you know, a wider um, spaghetti strap type outfit. So we're gonna take this off of you, not to wake you. And yeah, we don't want to wake you, little girl. She's so heavy. She's laying on the onesie. I'm trying to do this without, you know, hurting her silicone. Um, just you know, be careful with your silicone babies. Just be very careful and just slide the clothes like that. Yeah, we'll get her little bow off of her. The one that was going with this little one. She was just being a little uh, onesie baby. Yeah, she was. She was being a onesie baby. She does have pierced ears. All my girls have pierced ears. But you can see she's a gorgeous baby. I love all her veining. She's just got a spot here and a spot there. I can kind of come up, I guess, to show you a little bit. Um, where you can see it a little bit more. It's still hard to see, but it would be like something right there where it looks like a little scab and then her eye right there. So she's going to get fixed. But isn't she still beautiful, you guys? Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. I love her. Love this baby. I do. I love her so much. She is my precious princess, my very first ever full body silicone. And I can't thank my friend enough for her. That was so kind. And um, yeah, I'm so happy to have her. I really am. I also got my friend Jaden. I also got uh, Christian from Jaden as well. So yeah, I am just so happy and feel so blessed. What is going on with the cell phone? Why does it, is it missing a snap here? I don't know. Looks like it's missing a snap, but that's okay. We're just, it still does up, but it looks like it's missing a snap. I don't know, unless I'm wrong. But we're just gonna have the crotch snap so we can just get it up on her. And she's going to remain barefoot because we're going to do the sandals on her. But I just remember in that haul I did that, broad, so, I mean, um, Goodwill haul, I uh, got this for her. I said, I know she's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> this girl's got a lot of stuff. And a lot of it was from uh, Jaden and, uh, you know, all the nice things that he did for me. Um, you know, got her a lot of stuff and people gave me stuff for her and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just, she didn't really need anything else. But I saw this and I'm like, well, we got to get Octavia a little present too. You know, get her something cute and I saw this and it was only like two bucks I think so I'm like I got to I kept putting it back and I kept going back and getting it I'm like come on why do I keep putting it back I can get this for her this is I'm being silly you know just get it for her so let's just flip her over so we can button her up back here and um but yeah it's a cute outfit and I knew it was gonna look adorable on her for spring Love that we're hitting spring here. It's still a little chilly here in Minnesota. 
but uh, we kind of had a cold front come through. We went from like 80 degrees one day, the next day it was a uh, blizzard, it was weird, snow and cold, and then it started to warm up again, but we're only like in the 40s, but we're getting to 50s and 60s, that's our spring weather, and then it'll get warmer. Um, but that's not abnormal for this time of the year for us, um, so yeah. But just, you know, getting the babies in their spring clothes, because it is spring, so just wanting to get our, my babies all in a cute spring outfit. And yeah, aw. Yeah, this looks nice on you, honey. Yes, it does. We got a little string here we need to take off. But this looks really pretty on you. Let's just kind of root it up a little bit, though. I love this. I should have told you what it is here. It's like cotton here, and it's got little pieces on it that look like that's on it. It's part of the material. And then the bottom is almost like a jean, but it's not jean material. It's like cotton. And then it's got the rope belt, you know, that's already tied into it that goes all the way around. And then it snaps in the crotch and buttons down the back. And it's got a little bit of, um, like, uh, kind of like ruching or, um, like, almost like the back of a pair of bloomers, you know. It's just really, really cute. It's adorable on her. I love it. it looks so cute on her. She looks good in yellow. Octavia looks good in anything. <laughs> She does. She is our princess. My husband just adores her. And it's, um, I would have put it up on the screen. It's um, Octavia Madison. That was actually the name that Jaden had for her, and I couldn't change it. I loved that name. That was, like, the best name ever. Jaden picks really good names. He really does. And so um, I just was crazy, you know, over the name when I got her. I'm like, I was going to change it. I was. She was going to be heavenly. Because that was a name I really liked, and I was going to change it to Heavenly. But when I got her, I just said, my husband said the same. He goes, I just like the name Octavia. Just keep Octavia. I love it. And then we weren't sure on the middle name, but then Jaden finally told me her middle name, because it was Octavia Marie. And finally, he remembered her name. It was Octavia Madison, and I like that way better. So it's Octavia Madison. And what a cute name for her. She really is the perfect, you know, baby for that name. Like, I just couldn't bring myself to change it. I'm just trying to lift this up more so you can see her better. But she's staying so content. Look at her. Oh, my baby girl. Such a pretty, pretty girl. Yes. Let's take out the nook and hopefully we don't wake her, but take it out so you guys can see. And I'm just going to wipe her little mouth off from the uh, KY jelly. Like, be quiet so we don't wake her. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that face. Oh, MG, it's so cute. And we want to give her the other one. Oh, her little shoes. <laughs> I almost forgot her little shoes. So we're going to put her little shoes on her, her little sandals. And then we'll put the other one in. And she's got some chunky feet, you guys. Yeah, she got some chunky feet. They're little, but they're chunky. Yeah, they're chunky. So, and I, But I've had these on her, so I know they fit. We just got to work and squeeze them in there. Not hurting her, though. Don't worry. I'm not hurting her silicone. But yeah, she's because she curls her feet too. That's what makes them more chunky too. But uh, yeah, these fit her nice. I've had these on her. So we'll just go like that. And then you see that it's just, you know, push her little toes up there and get them in here. And we'll get some cute photos of her. And then we'll put the other one on. I'm glad that these are Velcro ones because they're just easier to put on her then. But yeah, she's got some chunk feet. Yeah, chunk, chunk feet. You got some chunk, chunk feet. Yes, you do, Miss Chunky Butt. Miss chunk -a monk Yeah, chunk -a monk You definitely are a chunk -a monk And I don't know um, this, you know, this, the uh, um, who she came from. Uh, I've told you guys that in many videos. Um, Jaden wasn't told that. He bought it from somebody. But the person told her that the baby came out of Mexico. So whoever did her, she um, made her. She came out of Mexico is what the person told her. Um, told um, the girl. And then the girl that um, Jaden bought from, um, relay, you know, relayed the message or like that. But never did give Jaden a, uh, you know, he had some paperwork on her, but not the birth certificate or nothing. So we just don't even know who the artist is. So I could contact the artist to maybe get her fixed up. Uh, but most artists don't want to do fixing on babies. They just don't want to work with the silicone. But I'm so grateful for Michelle that she will take the challenge on. But she's going to practice on some of hers. She's already worked with silicone. But just uh, the idea is that three artists told her what to do. She said, yes, she can be fixed. Let me practice a little bit and then go ahead and take her and fix her. And I'm so grateful. There's another blessing that God did. I'm going to get this little Octavia, um, at least, you know, her face a little bit better. But like you said, everybody would say, well, I don't even see it. It's just when you get up close. You know, and I just would love to have her fixed. So we're going to give her this so she doesn't wake up. Yeah, let's just give her her nook. She takes nuts really good. 
And look okay. at how good that matches. Oh, I can't wait to get photos of her. She's adorable. Let's give her her lovey now. But what a cute, adorable spring outfit. Yeah, I'm glad I got that for you, Miss Octavia. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me move this stuff out of the way because that doesn't look pretty. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just trying to get caught up um, on some videos. So I'm doing a couple all in one day like this so that I'm ahead of myself because I've got so much going on. I'm going back to the gym and um, I've got another appointment this week and that's meeting with the cardiologist for her to go over the results, which I already got the results. I, she already left a note for me that everything was good. Everything's stable and good and even better than last time. So I'm going to see her Wednesday and um, just go over, just meeting with her because she'll be my new cardiologist. I, um, my old one has retired, so I'll have a new one. But anyways, um, just got that this week. I had so many appointments last week that I just, you know, got behind in my keto channel, but I will get back to all of that. So anybody watching my keto channel, if you're watching this video, I will get back to those. I will try to throw something up tomorrow on Monday for my keto people. Uh, just saying that I have to take another week off, but I will be back or I don't know if it'll be a full week. But I just got so much I'm doing. Plus, I'm working on that avatar. And holy cow, is that avatar turning out good. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Like, it'll be the first time you've ever seen an avatar like this, I believe. Maybe there's ones out there like that, but I kind of searched and looked. Because um, I did something to, to her and not sure if it was okay to do it. So I wanted to look it up. And I didn't see any other ones like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but she's turning out amazing. And I love it. So, and I hope you guys will as well. She'll be ready, hopefully, by Thursday for Thankful Thursday. So, after today, hopefully she'll be up tomorrow, but I am actually making this video on Sunday the 23rd. I uh, do these, you know, ahead of myself, so I'm caught up on things. But anyways, say goodbye, Octavia. Let's blow them a kiss. Yeah, let's blow them a kiss. Put your little arm up. Blow kiss. Blow kiss. Yeah. Yeah, there she is. Mommy had to help you with that, but isn't she adorable? She's so realistic. Oh my gosh. She is like the best. I love her so much. All right, everybody take care. Be good to your enemies. Pray for them. Pray for them, you guys, because the devil has gotten a hold of them. Pray for them so that no harm comes upon them. All right? And everybody take care. God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.